When optimizing your pictures for SEO in Showit, you are clicking on the image and once you do, you have a new menu showing up here on the right side. Uh, here you have the title, that's the image title and the description, that's the same thing as the alt text. And the title will always be the same name as uh, the, the, the image file has been giving when you were uploading it or the one you were giving when you downloaded it from uh, Lightroom. Uh, but when you change it here, it will override the original file name. So for this one, maybe we can name it to, I don't know, couple, I can't spell, couple portrait in studio. Uh, and when it comes to the title, uh, it's better to add those hyphens because it makes it easier for Google to read. When it comes to the description, uh, the alt text, it should be uh, just a full sentence or two sentence. It shouldn't be too long, but just describe it the same way you should describe the picture for someone who can't see it. And uh, the difficult thing here is that we often tend to want to add as many keywords as possible. You want to use your business name, the type of session, the location, and repeat it all over. And that is wrong because it should just be a description of what's on the image. If someone is uh, using a screen reader, uh, this is the text that will be uh, read for that person. Uh, if someone is on with a bad internet connection and the images won't load, this is the text that will be shown instead. And this is things that Google likes uh, when uh, our website is very user friendly, that will give a good experience for the one that is visiting it. So it gives a little bit of an extra boost uh, to Google to when you add things correctly because it works with this user experience that it's, it, it's good. Uh, and also for the image search uh, that you were adding those words that actually are relevant because that's what's on the picture. So for this one, maybe we could just write intimate portrait. Oh, how do I spell portrait of a uh, couple in love taken in the, um, your name of the studio studio then you have a keyword it's your studio and it's a portrait of a couple uh, this is how it's done for a single image and it's updated for both the desktop version and the mobile version at the same time but if you're using two different photos depending on maybe the layout uh, please know that you need to change for both the versions in that case uh, there is also galleries that you upload to a gallery on show it they work a little bit different. So when we are clicking on this gallery, we are coming into the gallery settings. Uh, if we're clicking on gallery images, we can see the images that is added in this gallery. And if we click on each photo, we have the settings here so you can add them uh, individually for each photo. Uh, something to notice is to not use the same title for all images on one page or the same description. Um, I know it's difficult, <laughs> but um, that is nothing that will do good for you if it's, I mean, you are a photographer, you are uploading a lot of photos. They are mostly taking at the same time at the same location, maybe look a little bit similar. So it's difficult to actually have unique descriptions for each, each picture because they are so similar. Uh, in this case, take a five, ten of them, not all of them, and just optimize the best ones, start there, and then just tweak the text for the other ones. Don't make it too difficult for yourself, because doing something is better than doing nothing. Um, and this is, you know, SEO is something that you constantly need to work on, so uh, don't be afraid of that. 